What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Damian Cryer from the Cryer family. Uh, I hope each and every one of you guys got having a wonderful and blessed day today. Me, I'm doing all right, man. So anyway, you know, you know, I just got up in the fort, you know what I'm saying? Yep. And uh, I decided to pay my boy Yates a visit. Y'all yeah, remember my boy Rodney Yates, man? You know what I'm saying? Uh, Rodney got a YouTube channel, you know, and um, you on the road to what? 20,000. You on the road to 20,000? 20,000. I just started back posting, you know, but... Uh, I'm trying to be more consistent and get more content up there. So my man's on the road to 20,000. So right now you at what, 18, 19K? Yep. But how many videos do you got? Three. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Stop the fucking press. Stop the fucking press. Three videos. I'm embarrassed, man. Three whoa, whoa. videos. Embarrassed, bro. You got three videos on your whole channel. Uh huh. And you got over 18,000 subscribers? Yeah. How is that possible? I know, right? That's you must. Why. You must be doing something right to have three videos up. Now, you know what that reminds me of? What? I don't know if you're aware. Remember a few months ago, it was like earlier this year, mm -hmm. this lady, she just popped up on YouTube yeah. making videos about her taking a shower in her van oh, and yeah. then living in her van and all of a sudden she got millions of followers yeah. in one day on yeah. one video. One video. <laughs> so you and her something or something? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so what's the name of your channel, Rodney? Uh, it used to be Ride Too Cool, but I changed it to Rodney Yates, which is my name. So it's okay. Rodney Yates now. So it's no longer the Rodney with the number two cool. It's nope. actually Rodney Yates now. Yep. YouTube Rodney Yates. YouTube Rodney Yates, man. So y'all going over to Rodney channel, man. Show him some major love. He's on the road to 20K. Yep. And you know, uh, let us know after the video if you want Rodney and me to do more videos together, man. We got to get this man inventory up over there. Ain't no need having all them fans sitting over there. Like this, just sitting back waiting. Where Rodney at? 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 So anyway, man, you want to tell him what we're doing today? Oh yeah, we're doing the Never Have I Ever, you know, and we both came up with 10 questions each, you know, so. Yeah, so we came up with 10 questions each today, man. So, like Rodney said, we're doing the Never Have I Ever. We both came up with our own questions. We didn't take them off YouTube this time. You know, like a lot of people, you know, we have to go and try to find out what's the best. So we just came with some crazy stuff. He has no idea what I got written down. <laughs> I don't even know what he got written down. See how he cuffed the song? <laughs> so anyway, this is going to be just raw, uncut, man. So, um... <laughs> You want me to start off? You want me Go to ahead, start off. Start right. off. Okay. Uh, and you can't be lying, man. <laughs> you can't be lying, bro. You, you right. gotta come real with it. <laughs> All right. Never have I ever been skinny dipping. Never, I, never have I ever been skinny dipping. I mean. Yeah, but we can go both ways, though. Like, I can say I okay. have, you okay. can say you have, or I can say I have, and you can say you have. Me. Explain to me so I can know for sure what skinny dipping is, because that right. sounds gay as hell. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know how people, like, uh, like jumping in, the, like, jumping in, like, the lake or a pool, like, naked. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. You ain't never been skinny dipping? Mom's a shrivel up, man. I did that in high school once. No, I don't think I ever did, man. I mean, when I get in the water, man, I'd be like, sheer. Like, so I'm like. <laughs> I'm just it saying. It happens, man. Hey, it happens to the best of us. Okay. I'm just coming straight at you, bro. Because I forgot how you and Lex came at me when we were oh, dating. Man. I was in that one video. It's going to come. Y'all right. came at me recklessly. Number one, Rodney. Yeah. Have you ever? St oh my bad. Let me let me turn my. Yeah, I had to turn my. Ready off too. too. I get so much of a habit, man. When when I first started doing YouTube, when I when I lived by myself a yeah. while back in Indiana, I had so much of a habit of not turning my ringer off. Yeah. So I get the vlog and then you hear the phone going bing bing bing. Yeah. Messages coming. It's like damn, the phone start ringing. So it's a habit of forgetting to turn my phone off. Right. So any of you, you new people who's thinking about doing YouTube, don't forget to turn that damn ringer off, man. Yes, important. Hey, you ain't getting away that easy, bro. <laughs> anyway, number one. Have you ever stole from a friend? Like physically stealing? Like taking out, like taking. Just took some shit. Taking out of their house? Isn't Just it? took some shit. For instance, like maybe when you was younger growing up, I think to a certain extent we all did. I had friends growing up who had way more stuff than yeah. I had. So I used to see like a little watch on the table or something, like I'm gonna sneak this watch or something. Or, you know, some candy or something like that. I don't. I don't think I never physically. Took that's that's like stealing right there. I don't think I ever physically took anything. He like, said it's like stealing, nigga. It is stealing. 
<laughs> I've never physically took nothing from a friend before, but I have. I stole before when I was real young, but I hasn't physically like actually like took something from you know. Right, right. Okay. Somebody. Okay. But he lying. <laughs> he lying. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Number two? It's on me. Yeah, number two. Uh, never have I ever went to jail. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, don't never ask a black man that question. Hey. That's like asking a woman her age. Come okay, on, man. I, I have. Bro, I, 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 I ain't gonna even cap. Years ago, though. Bro, I haven't been to jail. I've been there. I done, listen, I done been to jail. Multiple times. Yeah. Not recently. Last time I went to jail, it probably was in like 98 or 99. And it was basically for like not paying traffic tickets because I got caught without with driving without license, which a lot of us done that. Right, and we yeah. don't pay those tickets. And we be like, well, I'm paying that damn fine. Then they pull your ass over again yeah. a few months later. Ooh. Now you got the warrant on top of another top driving while suspended. Yeah. So yeah, absolutely. Number two, Rodney. Have you ever walked off a job? Yes. Explain what happened. I just, I ain't gonna lie, I walked off a couple jobs. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all They were factory jobs too. And like, if it's those certain type of jobs where you gotta like, if it's fast pace and stuff like that, I, that's not a good fit for me. So like, if, I don't know, I just, I don't like fast paced work really. Yeah. So like Was it like a temp like it was like, like a line type of job. It was like the like a temp service. Yeah. I think we all did that like it was like a lot of different parts coming super super fast. I'm like, oh no. And then they be heavy walk. and then they be like eight dollars an hour. And then and then the supervisor wanna talk crazy to you, man, and then you wanna beat his ass. Yeah. I know I'd be one too. I walked off a couple times though. Yeah. But I think we all done walked off a job before. Yeah. Most definitely. Uh, okay. Number three. Never have I ever paid for sex. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I should have looked at your note. I'm going to tell you something, man. Straight up. I ain't never walked up to a woman and pulled my bill forward out and say, hey, let me hit that. Here's some money. Yeah. But honestly, I think it's it's fair to say that we all pay for sex in some form in some of fashion. type of way. Liquor, food, liquor, food, uh, paying for hotel, yeah, I mean, wine and dining. I think in a certain way we all pay for sex. We all pay for it all the time, you know, whether we want to admit it or not. Sometimes paying for sex ain't always just pulling your wallet out. But I ain't never just pulled my wallet out and say, hey, excuse me, yeah. how much is your snatch? Right. <laughs> Can I just have a little bit of that there? But, right. Yeah. I've so. never physically, yeah, just been like, huh, we doing this and we doing that, here go this. And you know what, bro? I ain't never paying for none out of cash either. I'm not doing that, man. It's yeah. just too much out here. Yeah. Okay. Number four. Have you ever had a threesome? That's crazy. He took one of my questions. <laughs> then I guess you can still. <laughs> I'm gonna change it though. Uh, I have, yeah. What? Yeah. You had a threesome? Yup. Bro, I still ain't had one yet. Man. I heard it. It's exhilarating. Man, you just make sure you got a last one. Hey, bro, I got that. Hey. Two girls. Two girls. Two girls. I mean, was did, did did any of them get jealous of each other or wanted to come back again? Um, one of them, yeah, because I was talking to him, but the other one, I don't think the girl that I was talking to at the time wanted that, so it was kind of like never see you again type. I had an offer to me, man. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I did have an offer to me, man, and you know, I I I, I was a little nervous because I never experienced it, you know. At my age, I still haven't experienced it. I believe that I will experience it one day. And I think, you know, because I was asked to do it, I think that maybe I should do it because that probably spikes things up. Right. It's not something that I want to do. It's something that I was asked to do in okay. the past. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I mean, it's something that I'm willing to do. I just never tried it. 
I, I, I guess the man's worst fear of having a threesome is you touch the first one and be like, oh. <laughs> and then it's over with. It's, it's like with. the other one's sitting there like, uh, get that thing back up, boy. Oh, man. So that's like my worst fear, man. So, yeah. Okay. It's on you, bro. Um, never have I ever been kicked out of school before. Oh, my God. Absolutely. Me too. Bro, I stayed kicked out of school. I was in ISS too. Like in school suspension. Yes. Man, I was kicked out of school, high school, like middle school, high school. Man, I would, man, I, I'm, I'm not proud of it. So I went, my subscribers think I was proud of being kicked out of school. It's not okay to be kicked out of school and it's not okay to skip school. But yeah, I definitely got kicked out of school. Okay, number five. Um... Oh, no, number four. Rodney, have you ever checked out your friend's girl? You know, like, we be with our girls, and I mean, I mean our, our homeboys, and you see that girl, and sometimes we walk, and you kind of do that peripheral at them cheeks, and, you know, I'm like, damn, she thick. I mean... Keep it real. He ain't gonna beat I mean, your ass. <laughs> <laughs> he probably watched the video. Oh, man, not like that, you know, but... I mean, eyes wonder, you know, but I wouldn't say like, I'm just like staring and like drooling all over, you know. You know, in prison, Is, <laughs> which one? you know what I'm going to say, right? You know what I'm going to say, right? Uh, in look, prison, you know what they call that, right? What? Reckless eyeball. Yeah, they do though. They Straight do. up. You be they sitting do. there like. You get you get uh, write ups for that. They will write your ass up, man. Yeah. I got caught staring at one of my friends' girl before, and he knew it, but he didn't say nothing until like a year later. He was like, "Yeah, man, I remember when I was with old girl. I seen you checking her out when we was in Kroger's. I was like, what? He remembered that. I mean, I don't go like I don't just go up into staring and stuff, but our eyes actually do see, you know. So, I mean, yeah. I guess. Whoa, whoa, boy! I know, man. When you coming to Houston, bro? That's not part of the questions, cause boy, you got some serious diehards down there that's trying to meet you, bro. Uh, I'm trying to uh, come back next month. We was talking about it, so okay. maybe next month before the holidays. All them fans out there to be asking about Rodney, he might be back in H Town next month. Yep. Okay, it's on you, Rod. Dog. Okay. Uh... Never have I ever cussed in front of my parents before. When man. I, when I, when, like, it could be in your younger days, you know? Man, you know I, how that be. Bro, I'm not even going to lie. I did. I got the sweet potato salad smashed out, <laughs> smacked out my mouth. But it wasn't on purpose. Well, sort of. Yes and no. Yeah. I, I did cuss, but it wasn't on purpose. It was like, my mom asked me to do something. And I got frustrated because I was like 14, hot-headed. Yeah. And I was like, tired of shit. Stumbled off. And she heard that shit. And she said, what'd you say? Before I can say, I didn't plow. All my lips went on. To, my lips went to the side of my face. What? Immediately. I lived with my grandma when I was young. So I used to like walk off and say stuff so she won't hear me. <laughs> trying but, to be slick, low trying key. To be slick, but I guess uh, I was heard before and it didn't go too well. You said it didn't go too well it at did, all. It did not go too well. Okay, number five. And man, you better not lie, bro. Have you ever lied on the application? Of course. Yeah. I'm be like, have you ever been convicted of a felony? But when they don't realize it says, have you been convicted of a felony in the last five years? Yeah. Now, if it's have you ever been connected, convicted, I'm lying my ass off. Yeah, I didn't juiced up my... Uh, You're not telling them the truth. Yeah, I didn't juiced up my application before. I didn't uh, juiced up my... Uh, what is it called? Uh, resume? Re I didn't juiced up my resume before. I think we all <laughs> did that to a certain Just to extent. get a, you know, just to get that, that position. But I haven't did that since I was like young 20s. Yeah. You know? Well, that's what's up. Okay. So, let me see. Never have I ever smoked weed before. Ever in life. Oh, you want to make sure that, that you put some clarity at the end of that. <laughs> ever in life. Man, I hope y'all smoke some green, bro. Yeah, I try. Now, it's been a minute. I think when I started working at my other job, 
I think, you know, because they started doing random tests, yeah. I stopped smoking, even though I was still dipping a little bit. You know, even if they watching this video now, <laughs> I'm my own boss. But, you know, yeah, yeah, I smoked. I mean, but but it's been years. Yeah. It's, you know, it's been some years since I even took a puff, man. It's like, personally, me, I enjoy smelling it more than I enjoy smoking it. I mean, I know Dang. that that... It's kind of weird. It's like people do mukbangs. Like, what do people get out of watch people eat and crunch and slobber? It's the same thing that I get from weed. Right. I'd rather smell it and smoke it because I get a contact. Mm -hmm. And you could be sitting there smoking it. Like right now, my head's spinning, niggas. I know your ass was smoking before I got here. <laughs> my head's spinning like a mug. <laughs> For real. My head's spinning right now. I'm oh, like, man. but yeah, I smoked. Okay. Number, whatever, I think it's six. Have you ever stole candy from a store or a gas station? Yeah, I have. I think we all have. Yeah, and I got caught before stealing some Reese's, but she let me go. I was young. Yeah. I was young. Dude. I didn't get so lucky. What? This is probably way before you was born. There was a store here downtown called Murphy's. This was way before your time. And it was around Easter time. You know, like the little chocolate Easter egg candies that they set out? Oh, they yeah. They are shaped like eggs. You peel like the floor off. I went and stuck one in my pocket. I had to be like 12. I had to be like 12 years old. Mm -hmm. and, um, I got halfway to the door. They snatched my ass up, called my mom. But they didn't lock me up. They took me to some room upstairs and they called my mom. Wow. And boy, that was worse than going to jail. My mom tore my ass up. You was up there scared, huh? Shaking, sweating under <laughs> the arms, biting my lips, chewing my fingernails off. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Oh, man. Yeah. Never have I ever peed on myself before. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. When I, was a, <laughs> lying. when I was a kid, yeah. I mean, like in diapers, as a, as a, like adult, a teen, okay, you know what? You know what? I'm lying. I woke up on accident before. One day I was. A long time ago. Listen, bro. This is a true story what I'm going to tell you. A true story. I had a wet dream. Okay. I was just about to say that. I had a wet dream, and during the time I woke up, I thought I was on a bus. But mm -hmm. when I woke up, the whole bed was peeing. That's what that's what happened to me. I wo I was dreaming that I was peeing. Yeah. In, in my dream, and I guess I just started peeing. <laughs> <laughs> I just started peeing. I woke up, drawers wet, bed wet. I everything. know some people, man, who who be getting so sloppy drunk, man, that they be peeing in the bed or peeing on themselves. Like you see a drunk walking down the street, they pants all wet right there. You'd be like, this motherfucker done peed on himself, man. That's crazy. Absolutely. Okay. Rodney, number eight. Have you ever stole a car? Don't worry. Police probably ain't watching my channel. I ain't never, nah. I never got, well, stole. <laughs> I took my grandma's car without asking before. <laughs> we all done, we all done did that. When I was in school, I took her car without asking before. We all done dipped in Granny's whip for real. Yeah, I didn't did that a few times, but like a random person car, I, I never did no auto theft or nothing like that. But I guess you said I can. Yeah, I, I stole my grandma's car before. Yeah, I did some joy ride for a female. It's crazy. Yeah, things we do for females, man. Especially like when we real young. I remember, man, like, I used to take my mom food stamp book, like, back in the day. Oh, yeah. They used to give, they, they didn't have the car. Oh, they had, like, the regular coupons, yeah. the purple fives, the brown, whatever mm -hmm. ones. I used to take this girl, I'd give her one of my mom's, I'd take a mom's $65 book, I'd take a $5 bill, I love you, baby, you know, little puppy love stuff. We do right. stupid stuff for women, stealing cars to try to impress them. But, yeah. Anyway. Man, this phone recognition, fake phone thing be getting on my nerves sometimes. Cause sometimes it opens, sometimes I gotta put my code in. Uh, it's on me? Yeah, it should be around number nine, I uh, believe. Uh, never have I ever snuck into the movies. I have before. Rialto, years ago. Again, this is for your time. I slept in there. I, and I actually got caught. You got caught? I always get caught, man, when I'm doing dirt, man. I don't, I don't know what it is. I always freaking get caught when I'm doing dirt for some reason. I got caught, uh, well, I paid for my first movie, 
but I like stayed after and went into like another theater. <laughs> so I doubled up on them and I, well, you know, like I watched another movie. Mm -hmm. So like, I didn't do that a couple of times, a long time ago. I think that we all did that like years ago, man. Like they wasn't as persistent as they is now in the movie theater. Yeah. Like, like you can pay to watch the movie, the new movie to come out. You can try to sit through the second one right. to watch it again. Now they ain't going. A lot of them ain't going. Yeah, they be on it now. Yeah, they do. Okay, number nine, Yates, have you ever cheated on a test before? Yes. Explain. Uh, well, you know, uh, I guess I was having trouble. Well, yeah, I, mean, I found I cheated a couple times in high school. You know, I didn't got some other people answers, you know, or I didn't made a cheat sheet for myself, you know, and I just pull it out and use it. <laughs> Yeah, I think we all as I one. as I went, you know, and yeah, I didn't cheat on the test a couple times. Yeah, I didn't. My teacher, she used to have his online like uh, like tutoring thing, and she would like a lot of people didn't know about it, so she would like put all the answers on it online. Mm. So like the people that was smart, they would like take it down and like you know. Yeah. Fill okay. in everything they need to fill in and stuff like that. So yeah, I have. Okay, should be on number eight now. I said the wrong number earlier, but it should be number eight because I have two more questions left, which means you should have what one or two. Uh, never have I ever looked through my girl phone without permission. <sighs> I would have to say I've done it before, not with the woman that I'm with now. But I have done it in the past. Um, I have looked at my girl's phone before. Um, and that was like the worst thing I think I could ever do. Me too. You know, you don't ever want to look through your girl's phone because I'm, I'm going to tell you, man. At the end of the day, the world is a different place now. Females are bold. They have stuff to hide. They're not going to, trust me, they have stuff to hide. They do. I mean, we do too. So this is not bashing women. So guys, don't think we bashing. But the world has changed. The world has it really, did, yeah. really changed. The worst thing, and I'm advising you men out there right now, don't go through your girl phone. I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna be pissed. Gonna Do be not pissed. go through your girl phone, especially if y'all not on talking terms, or even if y'all are on talking terms, but y'all got like a rocky situation, trust me, you're gonna find something that's gonna make the situation worse. It's best just to leave it alone. Don't go through her phone. Just keep your phone locked, keep your passcode on there, and don't let her go through your shit. I think y'all would be better off if y'all just don't go through each other's phone. And if you have to go through each other's phone, then y'all both should not have phones at all. Because it's not going to work. That was a damn good question. But yeah, I have went through my ex's phone before. And when I say ex, I mean I was married at the time. Yeah. I, I don't care about what females do on their phone. I, 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 don't, I, don't even, I see them on the phone talking and playing. All, I, don't, I don't even look at their stuff. I keep going. Because I know already. Right. I'm an older person. I already know how the game works. Yeah, I did too. Uh... Yeah, no. I have. I have seen some stuff that I did not want to see. Then, you know, like, so many people, like, social media, people coming to get DMs. Oh, you so fine. Oh, you look good. And you yeah. end up talking and flirting a little bit. And yeah. you end up exchanging numbers. And all of a sudden, it's a low-key, sneaky thing. You know, you got to know the game. Right. So, anyway, the one I skipped past before I get to 10 was, have you ever flirted with your dad's girlfriend? And I ask that question because you know as a youngster, dad be having some fine ass women. I know I do. I mean, I know I be having some, you know, some decent looking women that I done crossed paths with in my life. So, uh, I never met my dad, but I know some cats be like, man, my dad, girl, is fine as fuck. But, uh, I haven't, I can't say I, I haven't flirted with them, but I think, my dad, one of my dad girlfriends tried to flirt with me before. You know, just doing, just doing some little playful things, you know, like mm -hmm. little touching and smacking, bending over and all type of stuff. It was just mm -hmm. weird. Very weird. <laughs> wow. Okay, we better move it on because we about to uh, run out of time again. Is this the last one? Mm -hmm. You should have one more and I got one more. Yeah, I think it was because it was one of the questions that I actually had. 
about the four oh, something, three yeah. something. Oh, I was gonna change it. I, yeah, that was never have ever had a threesome before. Okay. That was my last one. Okay, so just come I'm, up with one randomly. Uh, uh, don't ask me if I ever used anybody else's toothbrush by accident. Oh, that would have been a good one. <laughs> that would have been a good one. Alright, um, man, I don't know. I never have ever pooped on myself before. Man, no, absolutely not. <laughs> have you? No. Come on. You, I just wanted to see what you was going to say. Ain't nobody ever scared the shit out of you, literally. <laughs> they were like, man, you scared the shit out of me. But has anybody literally, <laughs> boop, boop, oh. No, man, that would be catastrophic. <laughs> okay, guys, so number 10, and this is going to conclude it. Have you ever, oh, whoa, well, okay. Ah, Rodney, have you ever ate the beaver? The cat, the kitty? Oh, yeah. What? I ain't gonna lie, I used to didn't do it, but these a last of, couple years. A lot of cats won't go near it, especially the, nowadays. The hygiene gotta be on point. It ain't just that, man. Yeah. It'd be, it be so scarce now, man. Everybody seems like the day for everybody now, bro. It, it do. You know, you yeah, I mean, that ain't firing no shots or nothing, guys. It just seemed like, like, I, I be seeing these, and I know that the question is for you to answer. I just right. kind of took over. But I be seeing, like, guys, man, they be got they, they got that girl, they all lovey dovey up. And then I'll see them out in public somewhere, and, and they with another dude all on them holding hands. I be like, what the fuck? You know, it's like, damn, you know. So, yeah, it'd be hard just to do that to anybody. You definitely got to be married. Yeah, or she got to be my girl. No randoms. No, it's out here, man. Oh, it's right. so scandalous. I mean, I've, I've never seen the world the way that it is now. It is scandalous, bro. Yeah, it's crazy out here. Yeah. But anyway, man, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Never have I ever challenged with me and Rodney Yates again, man. Rodney is on the road to, to 20K, man. Go on over to his channel right now and show me some major love. I'm going to put his description link in the box down below yep. so that way you guys know exactly where to find him at again it's not rodney too cool anymore it's rodney yates yep, yep. so without further ado man we're gonna end this video off man yep. and we'll see you guys in the next video peace